We are back. Joining us via Skype from Los Angeles is the founder of the Girl Talk Network, Sarah Pendrick. Sarah is an international empowerment speaker, TV show host, media contributor, and humanitarian. I am nothing compared to you, Sarah. Nothing, zero. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> I love that your new TV show already has 10 million oh subscribers. I, I mean, can't believe it. It's can't believe it. And hasn't even aired yet. <laughs> I think you have such an important message for everyone. Tell me, how do we overcome comparisonitis, right. uh, especially in the world of social media? Help us. Well, first, oh my gosh, thank you for having me on. You guys are amazing. I'm so excited to be here. <laughs> Comparisonitis, it's something that's really been conditioned in us since we were young. It's conditioned in society. We constantly compare ourselves. And you'd be surprised that four out of five women have low self-esteem. And I truly feel it's due to this comparisonitis. So the way that we fight it is by talking about it. So many people pretend that it's not there. So we get to talk about it and we really get to acknowledge it and stop resisting it. So when someone feels comparisonitis coming on, how do they deal with it? What is your advice? So my advice, and this is what I do, is I notice the thought. And I also think about where does this come from? Because it's usually a limiting belief or something that we've been conditioned since childhood, something that happened to us earlier in life that we're bringing into the present moment. So the first step is being aware of it, not pushing it away, and then changing the thought. Why am I feeling like this? What's coming up for me? And really, what's the truth? What inspired you to you know, go around the country and really help what seems to be young females with this issue? So what inspired me is my own story. You know, I was this bright, beautiful, young woman, so excited about life. And I had so many people telling me that I couldn't do what I wanted to do and that, you know, your little girls do this and they're supposed to do that. So I went from what's truly in us of believing in ourselves and then entered that four out of five statistic of women that don't believe in themselves. And I started to doubt, you know, that my power inside and, I realized that and I dedicate my life to going around the country and talking to young girls and women everywhere from ages 25 to 50 because we all face the self-doubt and the comparison. So now I've made it my mission to go around and talk about this issue. Mm. So, yeah. how, so how can someone start shifting their minds towards empowerment, you know, and, and really beginning to get a handle on all of this? Yeah, so um, one thing that I do is every morning, if you notice, and you guys will start noticing when you wake up tomorrow morning, our brain is conditioned to think about the future or what we have to do. Oh my gosh, I have all these things to do, and a future and a worry. So every morning, instead of waking up with an empowering thought, we're thinking future-based or worried about what we have to do. So this morning, I'm so excited to be on here today, but my old conditioning brain was going through the list of all the things that I had to do today. So what you get to do is you wake up and you think of a present moment. I get to do all these things today. So it starts in the morning. Change up, change an empowering question. Write down three things that you're grateful for. And honestly, this, and I really hope that you guys take this with you, and I'm sure you two will, have a dance party. Anyone can do it. Single, married, kids. It's like literally get your get your mind and your blood moving and dance everything out first thing in the morning. You don't want to see Araldo dance. No, 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 no. However, do I do? It's not going to give well. anyone confidence. <laughs> trust me. What does confidence look like to you? How would you describe it? So imagine just a woman that takes up and or a man that goes into a room and takes up space and isn't scared and speaks their mind and uses their voice and really speaks to what they have what they have to say and doesn't hold back. And we all will, every day will look different. You know, I think there's this, there's this idea that you're gonna be confident 100% of the time and that's not possible, but you get to walk in a room and set the intention and remind yourself that you're there and you matter and it's good to be different. Could you imagine if all of us on this planet were the same? It'd be boring. Yeah, yeah of course, yeah. yeah. Tell us what is the gap between self-doubt and believe in yourself. What, what, what is the, tell us about that gap a little bit. So like I said before, you're always going to have a little bit of self-doubt, especially when you're getting to the next level, you're trying something new, that's natural. So have compassion for yourself, that self-doubt and you know, sometimes not believing yourself, it will be there. But the gap is always, for me, I feel, and through my studies and working with women around the world, it's either a judgment thought or a comparison thought. So the next time that you feel that gap, of here to totally believing yourself in confidence, ask yourself, what am I doing right now? Am I judging? Am I judging someone else? Am I judging myself? Or am I comparing? 
Cause so many times you're thinking, Oh, but I saw this person do it this way. So that means you're comparing and you're bringing on the self doubt and that's in the gap. Wow. Tell us what we can expect from this show and network from you yeah. and, and what you hope to really get out of it. Ooh. Oh gosh. Thanks for being so supportive guys. I'm so excited. It's all about my mission. It's for men and women, just that female entrepreneurship doesn't look just one way that we really get to start from our purpose in life when we come into this world and how we get back there, how we get back from, get away from the conditioning thoughts and the limiting beliefs that have held us back. And we're going to be having so many amazing guests on. We're going to be teaching you step-by-step -step things that you can do daily. And it's going to be a show that every week we bring the audience in to really just empower each other and connect around the world. Beautiful, beautiful, wow. amazing, Sarah, right? thank you so much. Thank you so much, Sarah. All the You're best to you. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> thank you. Have your dance party tomorrow morning. We Sunny will. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Take care. <laughs> we wish the Girl Talk Network the very best. Thanks again to all of our guests and a big thank you to all of you home for watching. And remember, let's continue our conversation on social media. We look forward to hearing from you. Be sure to share topics with us and guests that you would like to see on the show. Have a great weekend. was sponsored by